This is just... This. <laughs> I still can't get over this. I still cannot get over this. The mighty bots be part of the lag. Not to this extent. No, not a chance. No, I mean, we look, we didn't have this issue last time, did we? Yeah, and we had this and many mining bots last time. Ex exactly. I mean, get, get, do we have nukes in the game? Yes. Okay, I mean, like, nuclear weapons have never been more needed than right now. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can try and do... Alright, this might... ...cause... ...some issues. It's okay. Please bear with. I mean, I... Any... Any progress is progress. Please? Okay, good. I'm just placing down a whole bunch of... I mean, the the problem is that the uh, the water fill, it does fix things, but it, it only kills, like, one unit at a time. Like, it's actually... Not super efficient? Yeah, it's not super efficient, and because of the lag, it's actually really difficult to... to distribute them, to place them. I just... I mean, this is this is a good this is a good uh, a good setup, but I mean, we'll need to belt out. We'll need to belt out here. I think that's yeah. uh, that's going to be the well, next stage. Or just get lasers. Yeah, lasers lasers are a very good shout actually. Because that that'll cost us power, but we have a decent chunk of power. Yeah. Okay, pump jack. Alright, we have barely... That's slightly better. Slightly better. <laughs> what? I mean, look, I didn't realize that the biters had a, a second way of winning. You know? Just literally, literally slowing it down to a, to a crawl. It is... baffling to watch this happen. I... I kind of love it from a problem-solving standpoint that, like... Sure, it's Factorio, but we have invented a wholly new issue to uh, to cause problems. I like it. I like it's how you know we tried to cheat the game. We tried <laughs> to we tried to make a moat, and the game and the game showed us that you know even though you can cheat the game, maybe you shouldn't cheat the game. You know, there's there's a moral in there somewhere or something. I don't know. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, what am I what am I doing? We need to we need to what get oil. We need to do. I'm just ignoring. Let's just ignore the problem. I'm just pretending that it doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so we've clearly established that this whole situation is uh, all sorts of messed up. And I was thinking about it from like real world world uh, practicality because we have a moat, but you know, no no medieval castle was ever just a moat with no drawbridge. You know, we, we forgot true. the the crucial uh, the crucial tech. Which country do you think would would make the moat with no drawbridge, and which country do you think would come up with the strategy of lagging the universe so hard <laughs> the other team loses? I mean, you know, a moat with no drawbridge. I mean, the United Kingdom is literally is literally just that. No, it that's is a good point. All right, so is... that you've solved that case. <laughs> I mean, so and, and as for your as for your second question, like who who would who would lag to to infinity and beyond? I, I don't know. I feel like we need to choose a character, you know, a country that's got quite a meme character. I I don't know. Do you do you know any character any countries that have got a, a meme sort of character? I feel like this might actually uh, get to be. I don't know. Let's go with the French. French? I mean, like, I maybe. Hating on the French, I can get on board with this as a Brit. This is definitely something that I can, I can get on board with. So you actually uh, would identify yourself as a Brit be, uh, beyond just like Scottish? I I don't know what the division is because I you know when I talk to a Vac, he is very definitively like Welsh. 
yeah. Yeah, I, to be honest, I would, I would define myself as Scottish, to be honest. Um, but, you know, for the sake of conversation, I'm pretty flexible with it, to be honest. Pretty flexible. British, Scottish, whatever. Fair enough. It's, uh... I wish there was a more exciting answer to that, but unfortunately, no, there's just, fine. there's just, there's just not, there's just not. What about, what about you? Do, I mean, do you identify with your, with your state? Does your state have a certain sort of personality? I have a persona? never lived in a state for longer than five years, so I'm actually the worst person to ask that one. Uh, I bet if we asked like Panta, maybe he'd have a different answer because I think he's been in that, uh, been in Wisconsin for a while, and uh -huh. I think. Like Rito's been in Minnesota for a very long time, but yeah, I, I just move around habitually. It's kind of mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. And just, I mean, even when even when growing up, you you weren't yeah. in the my, same place more than five. My years. dad is a relatively famous geneticist, and so like, he wow. just kept getting job offers, and we kept moving. So yeah, four years in Minnesota, four years in New Mexico, I could keep going but i've just moved around wow yeah. you'll have to you'll have to indulge my curiosity for a second what what does a geneticist do so he specifically was on the human genome project so like mapping out the entire human genome oh geez yeah cool. uh, and then after that he worked on like rice and a couple other uh couple other like major genomes but you know after a certain point a lot of smaller labs can handle that mm -hmm. um and so more recently he's been working for the u.s government doing like biomet biometrics not for like tracking people but for like uh you know when you're playing like a first person shooter and you have the like the health health and the heads up display and so on and so forth they're trying yeah. to make that like a legitimate real thing mm -hmm. uh and so he cooked up this this crazy system that effectively let him predict if a soldier out in the field was going to get sick uh, with, like, near 100% accuracy and, like, a three-day advance warning. Not super wow. practical with the amount of stuff that you have to wear for it, but, you know, wouldn't would not be surprised if in the next X number of years uh, you actually start seeing soldiers with uh, biometric data built into whatever, you know, outfit they've got on. That's, that's like the, uh, it's like the, there's all of these like weird science fiction things that sound like science fiction up until they like enter general use. I remember like a couple of years ago, there was like a, there was like a, a competition or something to try and find like a, like a thing which could diagnose people like in Star Trek, but you know, the, the scanner yeah. thing. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, that is, that is what your, what your dad has done basically, which yep. is kind of crazy. That's insane. That's insane. That's very cool. That's very cool. Okay. Uh, I mean, it seems to be less laggy for me, to be honest. A little bit, anyway. Yeah, it feels better. It's still sluggish, but it's yeah. it's not as bad as it was at the uh, the beginning of this process. Yeah. Uh, laser tarts, by the way. Are we progressing? To I was working more towards... Oh, wait, no, we need batteries before we even get to laser turrets. I think we do, yeah. Let me have a look. Turrets. Uh, prototype artillery. Yeah, are you sure? Are you sure that this only targets base bases? I think if you get the... Only. Re oh, yeah. uh, you could try it. No, you're right. It only It says only only spawners. But maybe a rocket turret? Uh, I don't know. There's a long range turret as well. Yeah, the only problem with rockets is we're going to need explosives. Yeah, which is sulfur and whatnot, which is being done. Oh boy. It's like there's, there's no simple. There's no simple solution to this problem. Yep. But we're, I mean, we're solving it. We're getting there. It's true. It's true. Also, question. Is there such a thing as a shotgun turret? I don't think that's a thing, is it? Yes, there is. It's called Scattered. Is, there right? is, is it actually in the base game or in the, in uh, the mods? Not in the base game, but okay. in the mods, yes. Okay, excellent. <laughs> 
Uh, still can't believe that we're in this situation where the <laughs> the biters have just completely completely managed to uh, to usurp us. This is yeah nature taken back over. <laughs> it was not what I was expecting going into today, but I can't no. say I'm necessarily disappointed. I like this. It's another. It's, uh, you're totally right, by the way. Like about problem solving, it's like we've got. You know, so many opportunities to fix it. We've got so many different ways of going about it. It's yeah. very unique. Good experience. I'm, I'm a pretty big uh, puzzle guy. I don't play enough of them, I think, for how much I like them. And I think one of my biggest issues is, is so many puzzle games only have one solution. Dude. Yes. One thousand million percent. And so it's, it's real fun to play a puzzle game, but after a while I feel like I'm more just kind of dancing to what the developer as uh requested of me yeah oh yeah you've definitely cleaned them out a little bit the uh the lower hordes are lesser that's good that's very very good i've got a repair turn now by the way <laughs> nice uh so we should be able to sustain this area a little bit more easily i don't know how well it's gonna be able to heal i suspect that it's probably not great um and so, just to finish my thought on puzzle games, you know, there's Zach yeah. Tonics, which I think... Those those games have always done well in terms of, like, you can solve it any way you want, but there's very clearly, like, certain solutions that are going to be better. But, like, if you want to do a one-arm challenge in Opus Magnum, you absolutely can, and it works really well. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Factorio, for me, after a while, feels more like a puzzle game than, like... Sandbox or strategy? Well, I mean, strategy is puzzle, just more lateral, I guess. The weird, the weird thing about Factorio is, I was literally discussing this earlier today, um, is that it bridges so many different genres, right? Yes. It's it's a strategy game. It's a puzzle game. It's a terror defense game. It's an action game. It, it's like it's got everything. It's got absolutely everything, and the game evolves as you play through it, because. At the start, you might be defending against, you know, the uh, the aliens and whatnot, but then you progress to trying to optimize a super complex a super complex factory. It's just got it all. By the way, you have to put repair kits into the. Uh... Yeah. Okay, just yeah. wanted to make sure you I... do that one. They are they are repairing. It's pretty slow, to be honest. Um. But it looks cool as heck. Ooh. Have you seen it? Have you seen it in action? Yeah, it's like a green beam that comes out. Unless I'm yeah, like a like Emperor Palpatine sort of thing. Yep. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so I, I definitely think I definitely think things are better here. Feels feels a lot more solid. can now pretty reliably put the gun turrets right up to the edge of the moat and it doesn't look like they're gonna get nice doesn't look like they're gonna get damaged which is pretty good yeah okay. this is excellent so I've connected the oil setup uh, <laughs> not that there's a whole lot of oil to use uh-huh but we at least have a little bit of oil which should last us just long enough to get uh, most of what we need, but we're not going to be able to reliably make large quantities of anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dart. Uh, how do we get dart turrets, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Dart uh, turrets are the wooden things on the defensive. I don't think we have them, unless I'm... Uh, let's see. So, looking in look the at the tab. bottom next to the wooden walls and the repair turret. Those oh, are turrets. yeah. Yeah, the little meeple-looking things. Yeah, they don't look like turrets. But, yeah, I, no, I'm with really you. they really do not. They look like a wooden Dalek sort of thing. Yeah. Were you, uh, you big into Doctor Who? I really liked Doctor Who for season nine? Uh, whatever the Eccleston one was, and then the first, like, two David Tennant ones, and then I kind of dropped off. Uh, yeah. I run into this problem a lot where I don't really like romance in a lot of media that I consume. 
Okay. And so they kept doing the kind of will they, won't they with every single one of his companions. And uh -huh. I really liked Donna's grandfather. Oh, yeah. Donna's because grandfather was great. There was obviously, it was just pure, like, two dudes just working together. And that felt a lot more interesting from my perspective. Did you like Rose's boyfriend, Mickey? He was cool. Uh, a little bit. He was in. Yeah. He was in the Eccleston season, actually. Yeah, he was there. He was there for a little bit. I remember him being a little annoying at first, but then he. Then I warmed up. I think I just forget about him in in comparison to the. Was it? Because there were there were two. Like two companion boyfriends that were main characters. Who was the one that was turned into the weird wax soldier and lived for? Like that was a him. Years? That was Mickey. That, that was, was that was Mickey. Oh, I was that thinking was about the other guy. Uh, uh, I think you're thinking about Rory, maybe from like. No, I think you're thinking Amy about Pong. Rory. No, I'm thinking maybe. about Mickey. Mickey was the one that was turned into a wax soldier in like the second ever episode. It's been too many years. Yeah, Rory was the one turned into the Roman soldier. Yeah, in like season seven or eight, maybe nine. I think. No, because that, that was the... Uh... Gosh. Are we having power problems or am I just getting like zero oil? Oh, I see. It's just too slow. Hey, that's <laughs> a plus. Uh, yeah, Rory was the wax soldier man. Uh... Rory I, was definitely not wax soldier. I don't. I don't mean to labor the point, but it was definitely. I'm almost certain that it was Mickey. Here. I'm almost certain that it was Mickey. Why are we arguing about this? I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. I, because I just, okay, pointless. Rory. Rory Williams was uh, Amy. Amy Pond's husband, and was turned into the uh, the wax Roman. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold. Up. Okay, this he is. He was different. from the this Matt is... Smith. Not the David this Tennant is, yeah, yeah. era. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're thinking a different thing. So, I, I mean, I was sorry. I was, th I was Mickey, thinking that the uh, he, he turned into the, the the mannequin. Yeah, the the the, the one that you know that, that you see in the shops. Yeah. Oh, you're probably thinking of the uh, the mannequins from the very first episode. I don't I think am Mickey indeed. was turned into one of them. I think they were just all over the place, and Mickey just was present was he present in that episode he he no he what he was turned into one because he got his arm chopped off and it, it, the arm Man, was you like... know what i i've totally forgotten that episode it's been a while since we did uh, uh then it's been a while since i watched anything Eccles, uh eccleston doctor who related because I, uh -huh. I think i liked that one because there was no real romance at least at that moment yeah and uh it felt i mean it was probably over dramatic but like it felt more serious and then david Tennant was fantastic for a while but i think they couldn't escape his charm and so they tried yeah. to do the same thing with matt smith uh and it's, then just after yeah. that i lost i lost interest in doctor who and i tried to come back for uh what's his face the most recent two doctors but i just i don't know just wasn't there Peter Capaldi, yeah, yeah. I, Peter Capaldi and whatever it, the woman's name is, I truly haven't watched her. I haven't, I haven't watched, I haven't watched an ounce of. I watched a little bit of Peter Capaldi, but I didn't watch, I didn't watch anything after that. I sort, I sort of stopped. I lost interest. I, I think your criticisms, by the way, are totally valid. the The interesting thing with Christopher Eccleston was is that he is like, he was the one that revived Doctor Who after you know the hiatus of whatever it was, ten years. I think yeah 15 years something like that and i think he was like the perfect doctor for the job because he 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 was really serious and he was really good but after after him they went to david tennant david tennant is a remarkably talented guy and i think was like absolutely one of the best doctors that has ever graced this planet but he was just too good he set the bar yep. too high right and it was just pretty much downhill from there in my opinion. Yeah. I The thing that got with, with Matt Smith, and this is totally a petty problem, he didn't have eyebrows, and as somebody that grew up without eyebrows for a while, uh, it was bad memories. Okay. 
I, my eyebrows <laughs> were so blonde they were invisible, and so people would make fun of me for them. And then I burned them off and they grew back brown, so it wasn't as big of a deal. But watching him act was super weird, because, yeah, it just didn't look like he had eyebrows, and I was... I was weirded out by it. You were perturbed by that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is a... That is a uniquely personal problem to have, I, I have to be honest. <laughs> That's a unique Absolutely. one. I've never heard that as a critique of him before, um, but there you go. <laughs> and the other thing is that Peter Capaldi, I think he's a pretty good doctor, actually. From what I saw of him, he's a pretty good doctor. Um, again, sort of much more serious and a much older character, which was quite good to see. Very Christopher Eccleston, I guess. But, yeah, I don't know. I think Matt hey, Smith. I actually feel like I'm moving at a normal speed again. It's good, isn't it? It's yeah. It's real good. How, how bad is it up there? It's, it's pretty bad, it's, but it's not as bad as it was. It's much better now. It's much better. Oh, you've you've bridged all the way out to, to the... Yeah, you've bridged yeah out I got the oil. We've, we're good to go, sort of. Cool. I'm... Cool. Gonna try and take steps to get us... Let's see, I'll... Give some space, to get us just... explosives. Yeah, explosives and batteries. Because both of those are going to be incredibly helpful. Okay. Uh, I think i got to start with... Oh, right. We need chemical. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to I'm gonna just add a little bit of extra lab capacity. Because I actually think that we could do with a couple more, to be honest. Uh, yeah. I'll get this done. And then, I did you do steel by any chance, or uh, not yet? Yeah, a little bit. I took the southern iron line and turned it into steel. Brilliant. Uh, once we get ovens, I'm going to rip everything up. This is all just uh, make do for what we've got. Okay, Absolutely. run speed definitely slows down as I get closer to the fresh hell that is. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a unique problem to have, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's a super unique problem. It, it really is. <laughs> uh, okay, do we have plastics or... No, we're working on that. Yeah. And, oh, no, uh, we already do have plastics. Plastic is just coal and petroleum gas. Is there an easier way to get coal over there? I, I bet nope. that was what you were just moaning at. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. just lamenting. I, it, all, I can, I can loop it through. It's not actually a, a biggie. It's just a bit and of then pain eventually I'll have to tear up all of this anyway, because. No matter what, like, this is not nearly enough output to put out any level of plastic. Uh, okay. I guess the other thing is I could just hand feed it as a limiter. It might actually work better. Let's see. Where are my chem laps? I've totally lost them. You know why I really wanted Doctor Who Wise? Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted, was it John Hurt or whatever his name was? Oh, the War Doctor. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I wish they had given him more time because I actually really liked that special. He that was honestly one of that. I mean, that was a. There, it sounds weird to say, but there are some things that only the BBC can do because of the fact that it has got literally a hundred year history and Doctor Who is a program that has like run for I don't know what like 40 years or something obscene my, I mean my dad watched it as a kid so Ex like I exactly and it's that that special was so well done and yeah on it one of the greatest bits of television to be honest in my in my humble opinion it was a really 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 good episode. 100%. We should have seen more of him. That would have been great. Unfortunately, I think he passed away recently, right? He very much did. I think it was a couple of years ago now, but yeah. Yeah. Big, big, big shame. He was also excellent in the movie Snowpiercer. Have you seen that? 
I haven't. Shall, uh, my my fiance likes to spoil movies just for fun, and so she uh, she watched it with her family and was like, "I'm going to tell you the whole plot." So I've always been in this awkward position where I know everything that's going to happen. So it's like I should watch it, but I already know what's going to happen, so I'll just watch it later. And then I've just been in a perpetual state of later for forever. It's it's real good. It's got Captain America, John Hurt. It's and um, and Tilda Tilda Swindon, and uh, she's a fantastic talent. So is Captain America, whatever his name is. And it's real good. Chris Evans. There we go. Chris Evans. That's the one. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Electronic circuits. Did you set up electronic circuit production, by the way? Because if not, I can make a start on that. Oh, shoot. Uh... I I was going to, and then I got very distracted with a bunch of other things. No worries, no worries at all. All right, I'm gonna go check up on the check up on the nonsense area, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and start working on that. Okay. Do we want laser turrets? Do we want? Well, yes, I, I think. I oh, well, actually, I think we want explosives. If I had to choose between the two. I don't think laser tarts are going to do the job that we yeah, need to do. Yeah, whereas rockets rockets have some potential. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that. The other thing we haven't looked into is uh, Yoki weapons. Yeah. Yep. Because we've got the T-Gun Maudlin, which is going to require us to get into Duratal, but it's just as good as... It has just as good of range as the Sniper. Uh doesn't do nearly as much like per bullet damage uh but it fires a lot faster i mean i think i think that's good i i duratol oh. is like dirt cheap anyway so it's like free, yeah basically because <laughs> we have so much of it i, I mean yeah, it also it's just like the way the way that you go about getting it it's just that there's always too much of it i remember when i played it it's just it's far too much of it Let's see, what else oh. do we have? Yoki, Yokai Atomics, Yokai Fluid Handling, but I think premature for that. Basic modules, wash and smelt pure ore for bonus materials. Oh, I wonder if, I wonder if that's how we're supposed to be getting oil? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> How much oil are you actually getting? Is it enough to sustain what you've got down there? Uh, well, I've got a couple hundred stacks of petroleum. So Pretty good. Yeah, what I'm hoping is uh. Oof. Okay, so the real answer is no. This is not nearly enough oil, but it's enough to make some explosives. Uh. Let's see. It'll last us long enough to get to the point where we can get oil from Tiberium, which is okay. truly the next thing uh, we should probably be heading towards, because we're going to bottleneck hard. Oh my God. I, the, the good news is, is that there are remarkably fewer... Uh, enemies, biters here. Yeah. Really? There are a lot, a lot Let's less. See. Yeah. Yeah, it's still bad. Oh, I bet, it's still dreadful. I, I bet you could make a secondary line going up the, the right side, uh, up to that, that other corner. Because I bet having some sniper turrets up there would also do the trick. Oh, that's a good be worth shit. running an ammo line up here so you don't have to babysit it as much. I thought I thought about that. I thought about that. Maybe that's what we need to do. Oh yeah, it's bad up here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. 
What an obscene oh. place to be in. Sulfuric acid, toxic dust. Yeah, so we do have another way. Ooh, okay. How do we make toxic dust? I'm gonna look into the Yoki Yokai wash stuff. There, it, there seems to be an alternative way of getting sulfuric acid using the washer. Okay. Uh, that I might want to head for just as a alternative. Uh, can I cancel those at least for a little bit until we get some more tech? You can, although I would like to accelerate the sniper speed, which is primarily why I'm doing those because I, I I've just realized the sniper turrets are firing like ridiculously slowly even though they're doing okay I'm gonna cancel the the last two but the first okay the first two are fa fairly doable okay excellent I think they'll take I don't think they'll take I it. guess in retrospect uh I'm gonna turn them back on mainly okay. because uh I'm, as soon as we get that, uh, the yokai wash and smelt to uh, pure ore, pure ore for bonus materials, maybe that'll get me access to uh, some oil that I can play with. It just looks okay. like it's going to take long enough that I might be distracted. Okay. All right. Ooh. That that sounds good. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to work on the electronic circuit recipe. That's probably what I'm going to go and do. Uh, I'm going to get that set up. How many belts did you say that we needed full of those? Well, like four? Uh, we've for allocated circuits, for that. Yeah. I usually circuits. just like circuits. We might want to do four. Yeah. That's fair. That's totally fair. Okay. How are we doing on science? I've just been manually crafting a whole bunch of green whenever I come down here. Yeah. What are we doing on mill we should, science? We're doing okay there. We should probably sort out green science automation at some point soon. Because we're fine for red. I think we'll be fine for red forever, to be honest. That's that's enough red, I think. Yeah. But, uh, but green is a bit of a bottleneck. Just, I'm trying to look at the yokai industries, and it's just, I'm getting that feeling of just like how, how do you, completely overwhelmed. It is so new, and so it like this is this is it's, what it feels yeah. like to play C Block for the first time, where you just look at it and you're like, how does any of this work? Yeah. How do you function? Ah, here we go. You okay. seem to have found a solution. Well, so toxic dust is the only other resource that I know that I can turn into sulfur, which can get us sulfuric crystals, which will cut down on our uh, our oil requirements. Okay. There's got to be a, there's got to be another way to create oil. I mean, there's got to be like 16 different ways of, of well, creating oil. Well, the other thing we can do is we can get higher tier pump jacks. Uh, so that's what I grabbed real quick. Uh, so I'm I'm going for pump jacks research two, or research one. It gets us the T2 ones, so which should double our oil production. Yeah. I see though. Eh. It's not. There's not. It's not something to do with. You know, there's a little little gas marker on the uh, in the crafting menu. Yes. Industry items. It's not something to do with that, is it? Like oil might be changed by that mod. Because I I think it's cyan cyanidin's industry cyanidin's industry. I'm almost certain that that impacts like oil. Somehow. Okay, I can look into it a little bit more. Uh, let's see. I guess what I should do is just do crude. That's a good check. I'll have a little look. Okay, what do we got? Hmm. 
yokai see. oil from coal slash organics. Unicom. I mean, that's the ticket, right? Yeah. If if we can make if we can make oil from coal, then that's great. Oh uh, yeah, I know I know what this is. I've used this before actually. I have used this before. So this is kind of like uh, we we infuse the it's, you know, it's like making uranium and whatnot. We need to enrich the control rods, and then we need to stick it into a stick it into a chemical plant and extract the oil and extract the used the used yeah. control rods and then recycle it back around. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I guess I that's just... going to be our best bet. I, I, I'm just thinking going for Tiberium is probably going to be faster. Slow to get to, but once we get to it, way less steps. Because you can just convert pure Tiberium into oil. Also, the uh, the water wall works on the Tiberium. It's good. Yeah, I, I, I saw that up top. It's, it's looking, looking real neat. Uh, I mean, it's up to you, to be honest. I, I think it's probably... I think I'm going to go for the Tiberium just because that could have some interesting resource benefits. Okay. Because I'm, I, I'm, I'm curious. very curious if we could actually just uh, only have Tiberium processing as our like primary resource gathering method and just mm -hmm. ignore all of the other fields and just have a couple of super mining facilities. Because uh, the Tiberium fields will grow. So we can actually control that and like, I think we've got one to the north that I locked in. Oh, I need. Oh no. Yep. I don't need steel. Yep. Yep. We we absolutely do. We absolutely do. I feel like there just there just must be another way to make oil that we're just missing. Like this is quite complex. Yeah. If there. That's kind of where know? I was at. I, I think I think maybe it is the yokai that is well. Yeah, because we didn't have oil the last time either. I think it might be... I think it might be biotech. Because that's, like, bioreactors and stuff. And that's another that's another way of making oil, of course. I don't Maybe that's Maybe that's the way. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. One way or another, we, we have a lot of potential solutions. We're just uh, an hour out, science-wise. Hmm. Let's see. I'll just start making some green science myself. We'll get you the weapon shooting speed first, and then we'll look into... Then I'll go back to getting Tiberium. No worries. No worries. Okay. Uh... Give me more space here. Goodness gracious me. I tell you what, you can you can tell that we're actually making some progress chunking through the enemies, because we keep leveling up. I presume you keep leveling up as well. Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah, level so, 19 now. Yeah, I same. A, I, I mean, that's like proof that stuff is happening. I'm tempted to put a whole bunch of points into damage, and I think I'm going to. Uh, so at some point I just walk out with a gun and just start one-shotting them left and right. I think Doubt that's that going to happen, but it would be I great. Think, I think that by the time that we emerge from this bunker, I think whatever the case, we're going to be chronically underprepared, and they are going to one-shot <laughs> us. I was going you to know? use a jetpack, so that at the very least, I leave a safe corpse. Are... Oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Are you unreachable if you if you use a jetpack? I didn't even realize that I was a I don't a thing. think so. I was thinking more from the perspective of... Well, that way I don't have to open up a, a potential route that they can come in through. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay. Yeah, it does look like they're less, because they're just slowly depleting. They they are, and look, the frame rate is slowly increasing, which is yeah. just as important. I, I can look at that area, and it doesn't just uh, destroy me. <laughs> yeah. Science, mil tech. Yeah, we're at a military tech, aren't we? What do I need for that? Coal. I just put away like a fool. 
I hate when that happens. I hate when you need something and then you're like, gosh darn it, I just... I just cleared that out. Whoops. I just cleared that out. Okay. Well, it's a little eye bleedy. Oh, no, it's not that eye bleedy. A lot of spare stone bricks in my inventory, so I'm going to start just bricking up our base. Oh, I can brick up the Tiberium. That's interesting. Break up the Tiberium. Yeah. I'm, I'm really curious, actually, to see what Tiberium can be used for. I mean, obviously, we're using it for a bunch of stuff, but I think it's I'm just, just kind of a, a full resource replacement. There's a small possibility that that's... No... No, that can't be what's destroying our, our potential oil income. I doubt that very much. I thought you were going to suggest that it was uh, what was destroying our frame rate for a second, but no, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure the frame rate is the fault of the the biters. Bugs. Yeah, no, I I'm just trying to think of what would have turned off our our oil income. Oh, holy cow! This looks brilliant. Well done. Yeah, I figured I, had, seeing as we have a ton of stone bricks that we're not actually using right now, I just uh, absorb a whole bunch of it. And use it to pave the base for a little bit of movement speed. Absolutely. Great shit. There we go. Alright. So now that I've completely depleted our stone bricks, I realize I actually needed stone bricks for uh, <laughs> mill science. Whoops. Of course. Of it's course. Fine. It's <laughs> fine. It's always the way, isn't it? Just always the way. Tell you what, I'm uh, looking forward to getting drones, proper drones. Do we not have a recycling machine anymore? Did that go away? I, th I think I might have trashed that. Yeah, in fact, no, I definitely did. I definitely trashed that. I'm very sorry. Okay, no, it's fine. You have my, I'd... you have my profusest apologies. I just want to get another one set up so we can start clearing. Because I've got a lot of like old mining drills and random trash that I don't need. I'm with you. Okay. Alrighty. Let's give this one last shot. Okay. The ratios the ratios for the circuit are a little bit funky, to be honest, but Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay we'll give this a shot. Oh right, you're trying to perfectly balance it. I always get really I... lazy and just belt a bunch of stuff around. I I always like to try and like at least perfectly balance it in the first instance and when it inevitably fails just you know max it out but we'll we'll see if it works it probably won't so we'll we'll probably revert revert back in a bit anyway okay uh, cool Okay. Ah, there's still a load of stone bricks on the belt, by the way. You probably yes. need that, though. Nah, I'm not gonna waste those. I could. How do you how do you make military science actually? Because the crazy thing is, is that the last time that I played the game properly, anyway, for a full playthrough, military science was not a thing. Yeah, uh, it's piercing rounds, grenades, and stone walls, which is oh okay. Yeah, actually, kind of useful if we want to make a bunch of piercing rounds and belt them up to the uh the base or the base mm -hmm. the uh the guns
They're actually slowly... Actu uh, they're slowly de destroying those turrets up there. Really? Yeah. Noticing a couple of gaps. Uh, they probably ran out of ammo. Yeah, and I think the repair turret isn't fast it's enough. Garbage. You have to yeah. get a bunch of efficiency upgrades to make it good. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you are very, very correct in that matter. And that was there. Dude, I love these. I love these shoots or whatever they're called. Mini loaders, compact loaders. They're great. Yeah. Honestly, what a game changer. Seriously. Okay. Go in. Go in. All right. So I'm just about set. I hope with a fairly well balanced circuit area. But we shall see. Have you solved the oil crisis yet? Dare nope. I ask? Because I was working on uh, weapon shooting speed for you for a second. Oh. I'm going to bring us back to working on t uh, Tiberium pro processing. That's good shit. Okay. There we go. It, it's at least to the point where I can see it on the research tree because we don't have to go down the list. Yeah. Uh, so we're finally getting light advanced electronics, which... Gets us. What are these things? Megadar. Megadar. Oh. Yeah, large, large radar. Do you reckon that makes the aliens extra angry? I like Omega angry sort of thing, or interesting question. Don't know. 